One of the things we see a lot of in our business is customers that want to program music internally. And this is not limited to your local pub or restaurant. We've seen it in multi-site businesses with hundreds of stores. We also work with large agencies and supply to smaller background music operators that don't necessarily have the infrastructure capability or licenses to do it by themselves. So this video is for both of those customer types, venue DJs and the boutique background music suppliers. By the end of this video, you'll be a programming professional. By the way, if you're new here, this is a channel for businesses looking to improve customer experience and engagement through music, signage, and interactive technology in the bricks and mortar establishments. So click subscribe. I'm gonna kick off with a tip, and that is think long term. Think about how you will update music regularly, the system and the member of staff responsible. By system, I mean not only the playback system, but also the guidelines that the member of staff will follow for music selection and playlist generation. The system you put in place should ensure that the right music is playing at the right time and that requires a good degree of control and discipline from staff. What we're gonna to cover today are five steps. Playback system selection, the music brief, sourcing music, building the database and playlist and scheduling of those playlists. A more sophisticated process has additional steps of integration, analytics and reporting, but we'll cover that off in other videos. Look, 20 minutes may seem like a long video, but we're talking about setting up a complex system that is an important aspect of your business. So in the grand scheme of things, it's not that long. Nonetheless, we've got some shorter options for you. The playback system is a good place to start because ultimately, all that precedes it must in integrate with it. So you need to understand what you're plugging the content into from the start. The most common consumer playback systems that are used are iTunes and Spotify. iTunes is suitable for multi-site businesses. So in this scenario, a central resource creates the playlist, loads them on iPods, then gets them sent to site. It's clunky, but it works. And I know of a large bank that operates this way and they have a licensing consultant take care of the music reproduction costs. In our experience, Spotify is used regularly in standalone businesses like gyms and bars. It's a popular application. It is obviously community based too, so there may be playlists that suit. But if you believe in the capability of your resident DJ, then you want to be creating your own playlist. We'll get into that a bit later. If you have any questions, get in touch. We're here to help.